I work in a couple of different mediums, right? So I work with um, photography. I'm starting to work a little bit with video. I do sculpture. Um, so a lot of the work that I do references Newark. Um, when I've done photo series and when, I do, when I'm going to do future photo series, they're set in Newark. Um, I believe it's important um, from when I was younger to tell our stories, our histories, um, because they're as important as any other stories. And um, I think by making it specific with regard to what you know and where you've been, um, it creates a more powerful experience. I believe that what my art does is create or it engenders a conversation. I started as a cultural activist, so it was always really important. Even when I used to do activist work on the high school level, like when I was president of Women of Color, I was like, we need to start having small group discussions. So what I would do is I would pick like a passage from like Audre Lorde or Alice Walker or like an artist like Ntozake Shange, she's from New Jersey, and we would look at the passage and discuss it. And that's one thing that's always been a part of any activist work that I've done, is that I've always used art to um, look at our conditions. So I think the impact my work has in Newark or for Newarkers or about Newark is that it creates a conversation or engenders a conversation for people to reimagine what's around them or reimagine what it means to be a woman, a black woman, a black man, a white woman, a child, an adult. And that's what I see as the goal in my work, my activist work, my artwork, is for folks to reimagine what it means to be in community. We all have the opportunity to affect this world positively, negatively, in a benign manner every single day, right? So say for example, you, you know, you go outside and something as small as like, you help um, a woman cross the street, an old lady cross the street. You've helped her get safely across the street. Now where I used to live in Jersey City, there were senior citizens who were like hit every single day. Right? So imagine if that day that senior citizen got hit, someone had helped them across the street. So that's one, that's five minutes in your life that has the potential to impact someone else's life. Now, if you think about that with regard to writing, like things that I read when I was like 15 and say I was suicidal from Alice Walker, Audre Lorde, those things, along with what I learned from my mother, helped empower me. So if I hadn't read those words that they had taken time to write, or if my mother didn't take the time to mother me, then I might not be here right now. So the thing I just think is important is that we each just have this opportunity always to impact the trajectory of our lives, others' lives, on so many different levels, from littering, <laughs> to the arts, to activism, to creating. Everything you do is always impacting something. So your decision is how you're going to impact it. Because even when you stay at home, you're impacting something. I think art is very important for the social and cultural advancement. But people are always engaging art. So when we woke up this morning and you decided to put on that scarf, I decided to put on this scarf, you decided to put your hair up, I decided to put my hair up. Twinsies. <laughs> Twinsies. We're engaging a dialogue about what everything can look like, you know? So that's always important for me, for people to understand that the micro level influences the macro level. Macro meaning like bigger, right? So how even like at like a baby shower or, or a kid's party, like, you know, like my sister and I, we worked on the kid's party, and when the kids left, they were like, that was so much fun, that was the most fun we had the whole year. 
And that's amazing. You create these periods of joy in people's lives. That's how do we maximize joy? And I think as activists and as artists, you're always like, how can people be happier? Like this Buddhist priest once said to us, we were sitting and he was like, oh, what do we meditate for? And everybody was like, oh, to be enlightened, to do this, blah, blah, blah. He was like, no, we meditate to be happy, right? <laughs> and we want to be happy, right? We want water that doesn't have like large amounts of lead in it, that's clean, that we can drink, the babies can drink without having problems. You know, we want to be able to breathe without it triggering inflammation in our bodies and triggering internal diseases. So art is important and it's good that people as, you know, we have a history and a legacy of that as people of African descent, people of Latinos, you know, Asian folks, every culture has an art engagement in their culture. There's no culture that doesn't have it. So you can impact that on your your micro level. You can use murals. I think murals are definitely a great idea. Um, you can do, um, can affect the architecture. Um, another important thing to me is free spaces. So, you know, it's important that military park even though it still needs to be renamed, but Military Park is now a space that people engage more. Yeah. You know, I hope people will engage Branch Book Park more. Yeah. So I think it's always to understand art, you know, always to think of it holistically so people can always know when they can engage it, because you are engaging it, right? But it, it's a decision, how do you consciously engage something, you know?